this place is just so good for my uh, my mental health. It is an absolutely stunning day on the farm. We are yet to have a frost, which means hooray! We still have flowers, but I have a banging headache. Boo! And I should have known because yesterday I felt mentally down and, and often it takes my body 24 hours to catch up. So I feel mentally down and then the next day I feel physically shot. Um, so there's never a day that I don't want to come to the farm, but there are definitely days when I want to just curl up on the sofa. Uh, today is one of those days, but it's beautiful. We're gonna do stuff. I have taken some pain killers um, and we are gonna potter and just do lots of little jobs that kind of need doing. You can tell it's definitely autumn too. No, not because of that, because of that. As food becomes scarcer, the rats move in and try and get into sheds and aviaries. And I have an ongoing war with rats because I don't want to poison them because we've got so many predatory animals around here. I don't want that poison going into the food chain. I really don't like snap traps because you've got to bait them. And last year I used some snap traps and I caught two rats maybe, but I also caught a robin and I also caught a pigeon, and I also caught a um, hedge sparrow. And that's not what I want to be doing. So kind of the only way here is to secure the premises against rats um, and try and find their, their homes and kill them in their homes. So today I definitely need to put some mesh across the bottom of this door on the inside just to try and stop them chewing through. Something else I need to do is I need to move the piggies because they've done a really good job clearing this out. Uh, we've already hauled their pig arc back. Sard and I took an end, moved it right over to the fence on the other side. So I'm going to shimmy the fencing across. Well, that is uh, Margaret and Hyacinth in their new little pad. So we've just literally shuffled it over. So if I come to here, you can kind of see this is where they were. And now they're a little bit further across. And the idea is because we're going to have our pick your own pumpkin patch here next year. Um, and I was trying to think about where the fence line could go. So this is the edge of the barn. 
And so what I'm thinking is that here is the edge of the barn. So if the fence runs directly across this way, and then in the middle, I'll have a gate. Um, and then so the pigs can dig all this up this side. And then I was thinking about where to put all of those bulbs. And I just, I didn't want to have to put all of the bulbs into the ground. <laughs> Basically, I wanted to be lazy. Um, and what I'm now thinking is, so let me give you a little, let me give you a little oversight. So, barn, so fence line along here, right across to there, gates in the middle here, and then what I'm thinking is on this side of the stock fencing, I'm going to put raised beds all the way along, really long raised beds, and I'm going to fill them with the thousands of daffodil bulbs we have. I'm also going to plant my interspersed the raised beds with... the eucalyptus trees and the apple trees that I've got. So when you come into this area, this becomes a proper parking space yard area. And of course, eventually in the future, we hope to have our house here. So it'll be our driveway. Um, and then you'll look across this way and there'll be the pumpkin patch with some stock fencing, some nice trees, some raised beds of cut flowers that we can actually use. So that's a big plan I've got to do. I've got a friend, he's gonna come and help me do the fencing because I, not only do we wanna fence all the way across here to the barn, but I wanna actually take it diagonally up here to the market garden so that basically everything this side is fenced off from animals and goats and things. It makes it safer for people to come in for the gate um, and that sort of thing. I'm really happy with what the pigs have done. They really have cleared it nicely and it means that now I can literally get the stock fencing in, create those raised beds and just pop them right on top, fill them with compost, put in the bulbs, done. This place is just so good for my, uh, my mental health. You know, I still don't feel completely better. Oh! Tina, sorry, I just got distracted. Tina has just been tucked again, so maybe she wasn't caught the first time. And she, she's standing for him. I can't show you because YouTube won't monetize the video otherwise. Um, but yeah, it's so good for my mental health. I still don't feel great, but like, look at this. Look at that sky. And there's goats over there and there's ducks and there's the sheep and um, <sighs> that's the thing I wake up and I might not want to come because I feel lousy but once I'm here it's just beautiful
There are some beautiful thermals out today and um, with the blue sky. How blue! But um, there's a trio of buzzards that are now using the thermal to kind of just glide in the sky. And it's just lovely. Someone, somewhere, knew that I was feeling off today because they have turned today into the most beautiful of days. It's warm, it's autumnal, there's buzzards in the sky. I mean, it's just... It's just glorious. Makes me very thankful um, to have this and to be able to come here and, and share it with you guys as well. Because, you know, yes, it, is it my property? Yes. Is it my piece of earth? No because I will die one day and then it will be somebody else's. I'm just looking after it. So the fact that I can look after it and share it and mould it a little bit and then have this weather. Look at that. Have this weather. Well, it's perked me right up. Piggy bottoms remind me of old people. Because <laughs> they're all saggy. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Margaret. I do spend a lot of time just hanging out with my animals, um, but I, I actually think that is an important part of farming. If you're hanging out with your animals, your animals are friendly, you can spot instantly if something is off. I'm hanging with the pigs. I'm touching them, I'm cuddling them, I'm playing with them. I can see if behaviorally they're happy, uh, they're awake, they're, they're playful, but also I can check that they haven't got any parasites or injuries or anything like that because I'm up close and personal. Um, and also, it's extremely good for your mental health. <laughs>